It's Thursday morning, July 27, and we are going to head out from Art's place, help him get to the airport, and roam around the state some more, but that's a sunrise up on the mountain. We are at the Kolob Canyons, which is part of Zion National Park, headed up that away to the visitor center to figure out a good little hike we could do to see some scenic views, to see the beautiful view. We are about 25% uh, in to Kolob Canyon Park, part of Zion, at the Taylor Creek Trailhead. And Susan tells me, because she was here last week, we're going to be driving between these two giant rocks and gaining a little bit of elevation so we'll have some higher peaks to show momentarily. Where are we? <laughs> That's the easy way to answer that question. That was the easy way, wasn't it? <laughs> but you got to look out there, it's pretty. It is pretty. Through a few trees. There's an overlook over there and an overlook on the trail. So we'll get some clearer views in just a sec. There is a hanging valley there in that peak along the trail in a nicely framed view by these trees. Here's another little breakout on the trail where you can see the peaks. All right. You're on video. What you taking a picture of? Um, they framed it with those two that the sun's hitting it, and I was able to get the top cloud and the clouds behind it, so you get a little bit of reference. Got a little bit of the foreground to give perspective. And don't know if it's going to be pretty or not, but it was fun to take. Sounds good. Very thoughtful. A little higher. Another perspective. believe that is the bathroom area loop observation point at the trailhead Little trees growing out of the rock above the hanging garden. Is that the right term? Hanging valley. Hanging valley. Looks like a garden because it's so it's lush valley. with green. Watch and we have Watch it be gardens. a pretty good uh, pano here, unobstructed. We're not quite to the top, almost there. Susan pointed out this little hole or divot in the rock. We're surmising that it uh, was created by some waterfall from above the cliff on top of it over you can time. See, you can see the varnish on the wall. Yeah, you can see the varnish on the wall. There's a couple of them there on either side. Yeah. Look like little eyeballs on some strange looking fish. Lisa would be proud <laughs> that I've seen something in the rocks. So I think we're about at the highest point. The end is down that direction. See the people? So we're going to go down a little bit, but it'll clear up more, I believe. But on the other side, there's a whole valley of life and trees and mountains in the distance that we haven't been paying attention to because of the beauty and majesty of the ones on our left. Drink in the ones on the right. Where are we? The end of the trail. End of the trail. Yep. And there is the view 
almost 360 degrees around. Both sides of that ridge. Love you. There's the proverbial, where are we? Where are we? We're yeah. on the rock at the We're end of the, the trail. Rock on the end of the trail. Yes. Enjoying the view. You made it to the end. I did. There's a breeze here, which is nice. It is. Not shady, but actually there's a cloud over us that's kind of shading us at the moment. It's a killer valley down there. Yeah, it is. Probably a killer valley on the other ridge. It is beautiful. That way works. That's the way I got up and went down. That way you've got some like rocks to kind of push off of. You might set them down. Bird chirping in there. We are now approaching Cedar Breaks. Those are the pink bluffs. We're still, oh, I'm guessing 10 to 15 miles away. It's going to be beautiful. We are now up close and personal. Like right across the street. Some of the pink. And looking back down on the valley. Where are we? Read the sign. Cedar Breaks Memorial That's Monument, very National very Monument. National Forest, oh, it's true. I was over there in Dixie National Forest. She was in Cedar Breaks National Monument. So this is the new Cedar Breaks National Monument building. They literally just put the fence down a few minutes ago to open up this viewpoint. Nothing's inside yet. The grand opening will be in the middle of August. Yep, so it's empty inside. But it's kind of exciting. You get to be part of a, a new thing. I am approaching Point Supreme. And it's kind of windy. Sorry about the noise. Elevation 10,350 feet. This is a wonderful view of breaks. And of course, my beautiful bride. Well, I just walked from down there to this observation area, which is takes you fence included right up to the edge of this side of the Cedar Breaks and it goes, it wraps around about 90 degrees to be able to see everything. this place. You told me you love this place. I do love you this place. You can look place. at me. You don't have to look at the sign. Uh, it hurts. <laughs> it I is love a this place. place. Rain coming in. Oh, dark clouds over there. I did want to kind of pick, did a lot of photographs on these two towers. I don't know what you really call them. Hoodoos. I wanted to zoom in on them on the, with the video as well. There is rain coming in on the horizon. Where are we? North view of the luck. I practiced. <laughs> <laughs> you did. We rehearsed before I hit record. <laughs> Oh, so this is the north view of the Cedar Breaks. It's raining. And look at the rain coming down. 
out there in sheets and being blown by the wind and just uh, we've heard some thunder too there's more rain 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 Whew. all right it's been a nice visit to Cedar Breaks Is that a modern day shepherd? There's a mama sheep and a baby sheep. There they go. Hello, baby sheeps. <laughs> One hiding back there. <laughs> Cute. He's got the cowbell. Look at him. Poor dude. Cowbell. <laughs>